Fellow Warriors, how's going? This is Cass and welcome back to Dynasty Wars 3. Ready to start again Lumong's story and finish it because we really might finish this, his story on this episode. Okay, so the next battle it's healing. Okay, the next might be Fan Castle. The Shu army has encamped on the banks of Changjiang. It's time. Spread the word. At midnight, we move to the river to face the Shu army. Yes. This battle shall surely decide the fate of Shu and Wu. Okay, did I say Fan Castle? I mean uh, FA, New FA Castle. Right, we have not got his level 3 weapon yet, sadly. Oh my god. It it does feel a bit weird, you know, uh, playing this stage with Lu Mong, because I was complaining how Lu Mong was OP and busted on the stage. And now I am playing as him. I am playing as him now, I can't believe it. And Guan Yu is still alive. <laughs> Guan Yu, you're still alive. You'll. You'll never, you'll, you'll never die as long Lu Mong is here. He'll, he'll never die. He will haunt Lu Mong forever. That's Guan Yu's ghost, I guess. Haunting Lu Mong. See, it's so peace easy now. What destroy? I'm fucking Lu Mong. Destroy what? See, look, you're weak, Wei Yan. I couldn't understand why they make Wei Yan weaker than Lumong when they made Lumong such a buster carter in healing. But here I don't get an extra booster. Here I get the boot the, the skill I always had. The studs I always had. Nothing changes. It would be fun, you know, to like playing with a max Lumong and uh, then put a uh, very the novice it novice difficulty and playing Lumong on um, healing. It will be fun to do that. Literally one shotting everyone. Yeah, this will be the final battle against Shu, and next there will be New FA against Wu. I mean, yeah, against uh, Sh uh, against Wei. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me tonight, honestly. Okay, we got few gate captains there. Can fill the fire attack. I personally do not give a shit because. Why we do? Why we need a fire attack when uh, we're we're OP as fuck? We won't like get in any trouble here. If we fire a fire attack, nothing happens really. Nothing like big happens. Just notice this gate captain is a bit strong. Is it just me? I'm weak. <laughs> I don't like Lumong's charge too. I don't. I don't understand why Lumong's charge too uh, throws away the enemy. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's been a few episodes that I've not said anything about this. So, it, it's something that really... It really bothers me. I don't know why. It does it, it does bother me a lot, the fact that he throws away the enemy with his charge too. Why it's just him? I do believe it, it's just him. I don't know. I don't recall Jen Liao doing this. Lumong does it, but Jen Liao... I don't remember if he did. I don't, I don't think so. But Lumong does it. Okay. Well, we know that they do work like... They, they function different ways anyway. Even to Jen Liao and Lumong are clones. They still uh, have a little bit different... Slightly different moves. Just like uh, Liu Bei, Sun Quan, and Sun Jian, and Cao Cao. No, don't, let's not call Cao Cao, actually. Like, Liu Bei, Sun Jian, Sun Quan... Yeah, them. They they do have like uh, the the basic rule move set, but uh, they do they are like they, they do have different charge two, different charge three. They, you know, the motion is different. However, the it can function in many ways. For example, I think one of them does a jump. I think it was probably uh, Liu Bei for on his charge two. It does jump. I don't remember who was. If it was soon. If it was Sun Jian, uh, Liu Bei, or Sun Chan, obviously I don't remember all the difference. I do know that, but I don't remember who who has what. So yeah. 
still bother me really because I don't need to throw away the enemy because I'm com I'm trying to combo here. Okay, sometimes he doesn't throw it away. I don't know, sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. I can't really understand this. Really, I can't. I can't at all. Probably when, um... I don't know. I can't fucking tell, man. When they're in the air, he, he will fall. He will, like, uh, be thrown away when the enemy's in the air. Let's try again. Yeah, but if bodyguard stalls, maybe because I don't need them now. I just want to show you guys how Lumong functions. Okay, so Guan, I'll try to throw Guan Yu in the air. But if I keep testing. Oh, come on! See, when he's in the air, the charge through will throw the enemy away. I don't recall that the Johnny have done this. I don't recall. I might be wrong, like I said, I might be wrong. Yeah, indeed. So, your ghost shall perish forever. Rest in peace, Guan Yu's ghost. I just pretend that that was Guan Yu's ghost and Lu Meng vanquished it, okay? Let's sh let's all pretend that, because we saw Guan Yu dying on the last episode of Fun Castle. So, how can he physically be here? So, let's all pretend that was his ghost, okay? We must fight Guan Yu again. <laughs> We must fight Guan Yu's ghost! I can't imagine Lu Meng in a cutscene. We must fight Guan Yu's ghost in Sun Jin. Haha, <laughs> those things still will always happen. Because Sun Jin says these things happen when on the cutscene Lu Meng says, We must fight Guan Yu! Lu Meng, these things happen. Where's your horse, buddy? Where is your horsey horsey, white horsey? Man, I really wish I can get a level 3 weapon on this stage. It will be perfect. If I can get one. If not, rip. <laughs> I keep forgetting how I love Lumong's Judge 1. I keep forgetting. I really keep forgetting. I don't know why. I, I keep forgetting. I really love the range of his charge of his uh, charge one. It's just beautiful. Because it's not the the that kind of range that NPC uh, glaze got. Like the same the same one the same charge one of John Liao. Unfortunately, John Liao's charge one in this game is like the basic from the NPCs. But here, Lumo got a very unique one, and I really preferred I really prefer that. I prefer this. I prefer Lu Meng's charge one. It's just, it's just too good. It got a very nice range to break the enemy's guard. So, yeah, there's like, me, unfortunately, uh, Lu Meng kind of surpasses Jian Liao for moves. He kind of does. And there's nothing really. There's nothing to discuss about this. Somehow, he kind of surpasses Jian Liao because really. His, his moves are just way too good. They, ma they made his, his glaive moves better than some more better than Zhang Liao. Um, because really, I I prefer using his moves than Zhang Liao's. So unfortunately, I rather use uh, Zhang Liao, but I but Lu Meng is better. So of course I'm going to use him when I make my uh, my character in Dynasty Wars 4 because his moves are so much better, like so much better man, way too much better. Uh, obviously I end up using Lu Meng's moves, because I can pick between Zhang Liao and Lu Meng, and obviously I, I pick Lu Meng in the end. So yeah, I can help it. They made uh, Lu Meng's moves better than Zhang Liao, of course Zhang Liao's moves are still very good, but Lu Meng is still like, let's just say a point better, he gets a, a, one more point. Then Zhang Liao's moves. One extra point he gets. Because Zhang Liao, uh, don't, uh, don't misunderstand. Because I think Zhang Liao's moves are really, really good. He's one of the best, uh, cards. He will go one of the best moves in the game. But, Lu Meng gets an extra point about Gly's moves. He gets definitely an extra point. That's it, that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying, uh, that Zhang Liao's moves sucks. I'm just saying that Zhang Liao is a minus point. And Lu Meng is a, is a step forward. Simple as that, really. So, yeah. Because the Typhoon can actually be... Um, can actually be good, the Zhang Liao's Typhoon, to throw away the enemies. But Lu Meng's... Um, 
obviously here, uh, okay, let's just say, uh, Nasty Warriors 3, Zhang Liao is better than Lu Meng. By Nasty Warriors 4, Lu Meng becomes better than Zhang Liao. Because uh, Lu Meng here doesn't have his, um, his charge 4 where he where he pushed his glade on the ground and caused the heart cake. So, yeah, he doesn't have the move here in this game. But he will get it in Dynasty Wars 4. So, yeah. This still makes Zhang Liao better than Lu Meng in Dynasty Wars, uh, in Dynasty Wars 3. Because his Typhon obviously is better than Lu Meng's Charge 6 here in this game. Because he got like, uh, I don't know, I keep forgetting how you call it. Some blade. Uh, some, some vertical... Vertical blade, which is absolutely disgusting. Vertical and horizon, horizon, horizontal blade. Uh, vertical and horizontal blade. I think. If my English doesn't betray me, that's how you say it. Horizontal blade. Vertical blade. Some cards has got that. Some cards has got that vertical and horizontal blade. You know, and I find it very disgusting because he literally doesn't have. Uh, unless it's not elemented, of course. If it's elemented, then obviously it's good. It's got like like Gunning, for example. Gunning's charge, uh, charge six does have it, and uh, you can use it with his wind weapon, with his fifth weapon, which contains wind element. Uh, yeah. By the way, don't want to go into Stone Sentinel Maze. No point. I know there's like the power up, but don't need it. I don't think I'm gonna, like, power up every single character, guys. I really don't think I am. It's, I feel like it is so much trouble doing doing stuff like that. Like, power up every single Musou and uh, HP bar. Unless it's, like, for a very shit character like Suma and Jugulian, which I, I think I already did it. I think I already, max, I already maxed Jugulian to the max. Ooh, tell me, show me. Show me, Juge Koming. What's there? What you got there? What you got hidden? Hmm. You got something for me? Okay, no. That's definitely no. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. But seriously, what do you got? What does he have? What does he have more than just strategy? What does he have? A fan. Fan. He, he got a big fan. He got a very big, big peacock. 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 Earn. That's what he got. Very big fan. I can't believe I was unable to repay Lu Bei's trust. Lu Bei's trust. Oh, Lu Bei hurts. Lu Bei hurts. Give me health, cause Lu Bei hurt hurts. Oh, that's very huge. Like, you get better fun. You tried, you tried, nice try, Lubei. Lubei, nice try. Real hope I can get a level 3 weapon on, on the stage, because I need it for the next battle. A, a new FA. If not, I'll cry. I'll really cry. Because I really need it. Yes, he does have a very good defense, this Glaive. 38 defense, not bad, but still. I always want to get a level 3 weapon at the end of every 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 story, you know. It rarely happens that I don't get. I remember it happened with Yang Wei. It did happen with Yang Wei indeed. But hopefully it doesn't happen with Lu Monk too. Might happen though. Sometimes I just go lucky. Okay, and let's get ready for the final battle. Hopefully we can get a juicy level 3 weapon, please. Like, I'm so begging. Okay, it, oh, I, every time I call it, it always comes, the level 3 weapon. It doesn't matter what stuff does it does, it has. It got arrow plus 8. Okay, basically we can consider it to have zero stats. Hey, we can always ask our bodyguard to borrow me their spike. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but... Defense plus 15. Oh, I, I never had to get rid of that. Defense plus 15. Imagine if one day he, I, I, I end up getting rid of that by mistake. I will literally cry. Uh, guys, I will cry so... so oh my god. Okay. Last, fi last fight. 
New FA. Hey, Council! Is our strategy agreed upon? Enough. Cheap tricks won't work at this point. We must believe in Wu's power. Win or lose. This is the end! Now Lu should act like he's in charge or something. When Lu Meng, theoretically, it's his superior. But okay, they have literally made Lu Meng being uh, under, under Lu Xun. That's what it's looking like. Okay, we got our beautiful tiger hook. However, we have to get rid of this beautiful defense. Unfortunately, it's something we must do. Uh, yeah, this is a very hard stage, but I guess... Yeah, I want the enemies here. No, no, sorry. Okay, shot armor can be the best thing, of course. Don't want to get rid of any other item. This is the perfect setup. Where am I? Why am I sub officer? Oh, it's because... It's because uh, these two these two fuckers are alive. That is why. That is why I'm a sub off. I feel stupid because I'm the only sub officer here and it's not fair. But okay. S sub officer, it's okay. It's okay being a sub officer. Don't worry. Don't worry. Being a sub officer, I don't mind. I can live with it. Let's, let's end this. This battle shall determine Wu's destiny. Look up, see like this move, look. Hit their main force with everything we it's just shit, man, it's just shit. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Uh, unfortunately, it would be great having an Orson on the Vu side because... Uh, but even on Wayside. Like, a Norse is like honestly the best thing to have in this game. In this stage, I mean. Still, it's not completely extremely necessary. Okay, I remember the last time I played this stage, I showed you guys how um, how to make Gunning survive. I remember it was with no, which 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 character was with Sunjian? Yeah, I think it was with Sunjian. If I'm not wrong, it was with Sun. Oh no, Sunjian, Sunjian. What was Sunjian? Sorry, it was with Sunjian, and I showed you guys how to make Gunning survive. Let's not do that again. Because as you guys could see, it kind of took me a little bit. But it would be great if Gandhi can actually go. Uh, he can go like um after. He can go in the north. So we have an extra hand. We won't be on our own. But like I say, it will just take an eternity. Let's just go kill the, the corporal guy, so we get rid of the privates. Love the range. We'll never stop saying this, but I love the range. So I just kill these troops around here, go kill the gate captain first. The, 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 the gate captains, because the gate captains. He's like the main problem for his game, the, the main single problem. Main, main, main problem. Main fucking problem, gate captain. Like, really, if you don't get rid of the gate captain here, you'll have not one trap, not like a bit, a bit of problems, but a thousand of problems you're gonna have once you reach this gate captain. You like going to struggle all your life and more years to come. <laughs> okay, seriously, it, it even to you kill this gate captain though, you still have, you're still going to have lots of troubles. Let's just say you're going to reduce your trouble by 10% uh, maybe, <laughs> in this stage. So yeah. Because the main goal of this is still killing officers and troops. There's no... There's no many... There's the only two gay captains and they better do anything. They better do a thing, but the main problem of this stage, it's indeed the... Um, the freaking... Oh, traps. Not this. The troops. The troops is like the main thing. The troops in the stages they are more they're far more scary than than, than the officers here. No kidding. No fucking kidding. 
Seriously though, on the full side, playing this stage is kind of annoying because you need to go all your way here to to, the, to to defeat the officers guarding the gate. I just wonder. Wait, what's the? Oh, the, there it is. I just want this. That's the only reason. I mean, if I can get a better weapon <laughs> than this, because it got arrows, and of course, eight arrows, what am I supposed to do with it? Really, when I when literally can find arrows 24-7 on the stage, what am I supposed to do with eight fucking arrows? I mean, even, even a life plus one might be more useful. Destroy them all! Destroy them all! Oh, 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 oh! And the main problem, another main problem. There's no need for me to say what's the main problem of this besides the troops. Oh, of course it's, it's those bodies here, of course it's them, of course it's them. Now, they will be everywhere, like everywhere. Uh, not like, you, you know, here and there, somewhere, no, no, everywhere. They'll be everywhere. Okay, it's not so bad so far. Can be worse. We got already of two groups of archers. Because remember, by killing their leader, they will disappear once you get away from them. Remember this. Same for the for the for this major guys, guard captain. See, their guys will run away uh, if you if you disappear from a little bit from the map. This is my best friend, and at the same time, my worst enemy, the guard captain. When I when I come across this this point, you guys should know this already. But just I'm just doing a re epilog of of how is the stage, how painful the stage can be. Sometimes I do wish I got a normal Musou instead of true Musou with with Lu Mang, but. Because against the troops, the, the normal Musou will be more deadly. But against the officer, true Musou is far more deadly. Because they will counterattack. It wasn't for a fact that they counterattack with their Musou non-stop. Normal Musou will be actually be the most the strongest thing in this game. And true Musou will actually be useless. Like like in Dark Stewards 4. Actually, like in Dancers 4, yeah, they nerfed the, the true Musou by a lot. By a lot. Only certain characters can use true uh, Musou. Okay, Mr. Cannibal. Like Jugel and Suma Yi Pang Tong. They're the only characters who can use. Oh, and uh, probably. Oh, hello! Oh my god. Sometimes it happens. Some Sometimes it, it, it happens, really. Just recording, like. Oh my god. Like, oh my god. I hope the recording won't, won't lag. But, oh my god. Okay. Should be fine now. I don't know, sometimes it, do it does it. It does it sometimes. Just emulator and being emulator, I guess. By the way, another thing that is really pissing me off. It's, it's pissing me off now. Now that I mention emulator, I don't want people in the comment to answer other people asking where to download PS2 games. I I'm really getting pissed off now. I'm getting pissed off. No, no, I'm serious now. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'm fucking serious now. I'm fucking serious. There's some, there's some people who answer comments, people who I ignored, asking where to download this game, where to, do, where to do this. I don't promote piracy on my fucking channel. If you want to promote piracy, go do it on your channel. Don't, don't, promote, my, don't promote it on my channel. Don't answer people's questions. Try, oh, but I was just helping. No. No. You're helping people out to pirate games. That's what you're doing. Oh, but I got the game already. I, yes, but I don't, I, I, I don't give a shit. If I don't promote any websites. Go in there, go in this, go there. Fuck off. Fuck off. No, I'm getting pissed off right now. I just remember because it did happen. It do, it does it does happen few times. Cause when these people uh, ask questions, 
where to download certain games. I ignore them, I ignore them all, I'm going to ignore you. No point you come in the comments, where can I download this? Have a fucking Google research, you motherfucker. Have a fucking Google research. And I don't care if this video will probably will be censored by YouTube, it will be black, I don't give a fuck. Go fucking have a Google research, I'm not your fucking Google en engineer, retarded. Because you want me, you just want me, you just want to download the game illegally. You fucking want to download the game illegally, you piece of shit, you scum. Okay, you want to download the game illegally. Own the fucking copy of the game. Hey, but who question who who got the proof that you own the copy of the game? Okay, I'm gonna send you pictures. I will send you pictures then. I will send you fucking pictures. Okay, I'll send you fucking pictures. If you don't believe me. You dare to challenge me that I don't own this game. We'll see what happens. Go message me on Twitter. Message me on Twitter, I'll send you a picture with, with my face, with me handling the games. Okay? We can do that. But honestly, I don't even I don't have to prove anything to people. Cause really, I'm I'm you're not nobody that I have to prove you things. If I want to show you that I got my, my game collection, I'll show you, but I have nothing to prove. Wait, really? No, 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 just in case people ans answer back. They try to, because people always try to answer back uh, to defend their, their so called opinions, they, the, which they're worth nothing. I know by opinion, well, no, your opinion is not worth anything to me. If you if you really think you you can come to my channel and comment, uh, you can download this game from uh, X website. No, you can't do that. Where does it say that on my that on my channel you can promote piracy? Where does it say it? Where does it say it? Does it say anywhere? Do, did I give you authorization that you can actually can you can actually help this dude finding their finding this um this game? Now I you know some people might say, Cassin, why you don't delete these comments? The that they they ask where to download games. Why you don't delete these comments? Because they're, I'm loaded. I am loaded. I'm literally loaded. I'm fucking loaded even during live streams. During live stream, I'm loaded. There's no point in doing that because every time I do that, like, I, will, I should probably delete this comment. I'll probably start deleting them. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll probably start deleting them because really, it's getting really too overboard now. So every single comment that asks me, uh, will you, you plan this from from emulator or PS2. I don't answer because there is obvious. It's boy, two plus two. It's like asking two plus two. What's the result of plus of plus two plus two? It's it's like asking yourself a two plus two. When you when people ask me where if I'm playing this game from PS2 or emulator, it's like that. It's exactly like that, man. Like what the fuck? Come on man, come on. Like honestly, honestly, you serious? Go fucking damn it. Like my god. <laughs> yeah, kill everyone. Yeah, I just left uh uh Zen Liao. Or whatever. Like honestly, and honestly it's annoying as fuck. Where can I download this? Where can I download that? Uh, I'm not Google. My, they, treat, they think my channel is called Google. I, it's annoying, really. I know this is also a problem that many YouTuber has, by the way. It's not just me. It's not just me. I know that. It's not just me. But seriously, a bit of common sense. Where's the common sense? Gone. Common sense is like a, pri a privilege these days. Somebody told me this, by the way. That, uh, and yeah. That a com common sense is a privilege. Elements is a fucking privilege. It is. It is true. It's fucking true. It, it is fucking true. Because people don't have it. They think they can just go ask around. Uh, like, oh no, I'm dying here. So yeah, they, they just think they can go ask around every single channel where you download this, where I to download this, or to download, download that. Like, oh my god. You know why this thing pisses me off? You guys think I'm overreacting, but you know, I'm telling the reason why this thing pisses me off because I have found a screenshot of my gameplay 
we, I, I had my logo on it, thank god, but I, there was a screenshot of my gameplay of Dance Tier 6 for PS2 and my Castle Musou logo. However, uh, I found a screenshot of it in a, in a pirate website, in a website where you call download games. In a website where you call download games. So, I, I'm not happy about it. I understand there's a logo, but I'm not happy. They surely stole me. I'm not reported it or anything, but seriously, if I, if I find that stuff again, I won't be happy. I don't care if it has my logo on it. I don't want to promote piracy. I don't give a fuck. Well, Gumuso charged. That's good, I guess. Yeah, I know it's probably... I should probably expect this because I'm playing it from an emulator. I should expect it. I should fucking expect it. But, seriously. <laughs> God damn it, man. Right. Followers. And I guess this is everything for now. And I'll catch you guys later. Thanks again for following me this far. I hope you guys enjoy it. And consider becoming a member on my channel to uh, help me support this channel. Really, I will really, really appreciate it. You'll always give me an extra hand, an extra support. If you can support me through membership, it will improve a lot of my gameplay, my let's play. You'll I'll really appreciate it. So, yeah, think about it. Thanks again, support my, uh, support my girlfriend Pete Obsessed too by subscribing to her channel and subscribe to Sakichina as well. You can find the channel on my recommended ch channels too. So, see you guys soon. Enjoy the ending and take care. Bye bye.